So today is a momentous day for me. Um, I'm in computer repair and I look at this, computer guys are much like mechanics. You see a lot of mechanics, they drive the crappiest cars. I think, well, I won't know, I'm not a mechanic, but I think really it's because they know they can fix it. So one, you know, why spend huge money uh, on big cars when you can just keep the, you know, the car you got going. So in that vein, this just arrived today. My first machine over 10 years. Greetings, Dave here, DCBFX. This is the first new computer I have had in over 10 years. Um, I have lots of other machines I have in my office and other things that I have, but much like the mechanic, um, yeah, I don't need the latest and greatest because I don't use the latest and greatest, but I just upgraded because there's a really great deal recently. Uh, this is the M1 Mac Mini. So this is a replacement for my, I think, 15 year old Mac Pro Tower. Uh, there are still some pieces coming because obviously there's no way I'm going to put four hard drives in here. But uh, I have a case coming that's going to be allow me to mount my four separate hard drives because I have four six terabyte hard drives. I have 24 terabytes, actually 26 terabytes on my Mac Pro Tower. So that's going to go into a case that this will be addressable. For the interim, while I'm waiting, I think I'll just leave my Mac Pro running and I'll just share the drives and be able to do that. But yeah, so this is a nice upgrade for me because, well, I haven't had a new machine in quite a while. And because I'm going from something way, 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 way in the past, this M1 is going to be more than enough for what I'm doing, especially when I've read about what's out there uh, on these uh, devices. It's going to be quite interesting. And I'm going to go more into the details on this in other videos, but mainly what I want to talk about today is Apple. Now, I work with Apple. I don't work for Apple. I work with Apple. I do warranty service for them. And I buy a lot of stuff from Apple. I buy a lot of re refurbished stuff because it comes with a one-year warranty. This is refurbished. The machine will be announced four months ago. Um, but here's my problem. Last Wednesday at one o'clock in the afternoon, I saw a nice machine, 16 gig, one terabyte. I'll take it. Order before three o'clock and pay this extra shipping fee You'll have it on Friday. Two days. Don't do that. It'll show up on Monday. This came in. What am I doing today? This is Wednesday. So this came in Tuesday noon. So I paid extra shipping for pupkits, for zilcho, for nothing. And I called Apple when it was obvious it wasn't coming to me on time on Friday. I said, it hasn't even left you yet. Well, sir, there are problems with shipping. No, 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 no. You said, pay this, I'll have it in two days. You didn't ship it for two days. Don't blame the carrier, which, well, they're idiots too. Don't blame the carrier when you haven't even sent it out. I, it was $17, but still, if I had said no, Regular shipping, please. This came to me a day after free shipping. Would have been Monday, they said. So free shipping would have been like Wednesday, Thursday, I guess. So my point to them is you advertise a service saying, if you pay this, you'll have it plenty of time. You'll have it in two days. I did, but I didn't. So I paid it, didn't get it. I'm finding it my $17 back, but it's really gonna be easy. If it doesn't work, I'll just, you know, contact the credit company and say, yeah, give me my $17 plus tax back because I paid for service I didn't get. Anyway, uh, rant over. You know, I know they're a big company. I know everything's going on, but you know, the the, the one rep really got in my grill said, sir, this is out of our control. It is in your control when it's inside your business. It hasn't even left your business yet. Nice. So anyway, that's what I, all I want to talk about today. This is, uh, you know, the video for today about this. I'm going to put this through the paces. Now, a lot of things don't work. Um, I think it's time for me to cut the umbilical with Adobe. Um, I've fought and fought and fought, not going to Creative Cloud, and now that's the only option, and that's not an option. I'm looking at Infinity, it looks pretty good. I have it on my iPad, so I think I'll probably just move to that. Uh, they got some deals on right now, so I'll probably just buy it. I gotta try all that, give it a whirl, see what it does, but uh, yeah. I'm not spending 
$50 a month to rent software not happening. All right, I will follow up on the Mini and what it does and all the, the fun things about it. Uh, so far, I'm quite impressed with the speed of it, just to transfer over my 600 uh, gigabytes of stuff to it. It only took a couple hours. I'll let it, uh, I'll let it go through its paces and see what happens. So I will follow up on another video with that. But that's all I want to say. Hey, if you think about buying an Apple product and they say, oh, enticed by the extra shipping, don't pay it. They won't follow through. Well, they said it in for me. How hard is it to take a box off a shelf? I didn't customize it. Take this, put it in a box, ship it out. Can't do it. Anyway, so that's it for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk to you all later.